Hey, Kawhi. Um, uh, obviously, it sucks about uh, AD having to leave the game early, but um, you guys did a great job defending him before he got hurt. Um, what did what, you see out of how you, how you were able to guard him and kind of slow him down early? Just putting bodies in front of him. Um, you know, he, he's a great basketball player, one of a kind. Uh, so, um, you know, we got to make sure we, you know, have bodies in front, in front of him, try to make things hard. Uh, you know, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks. Next to Law. Hey, Kawhi. Uh, so Ty was not entirely pleased with the overall performance of this game. You cited the turnovers. Uh, you had five of them. Paul had five of them. The team had um, allowed 30 points off turnovers. We hadn't seen that all season. At the same time, you guys won by 24. So how do you balance, you know, the taking the right approach to the game consistently with, you know, the fact that you guys are so good and, and can blow teams out like this? I mean, I think we'll be all right. Um, you know, two, out of, two of my turnovers were offensive fouls. So, I mean, that's just being aggressive, being physical. Um, you know, one in the fourth quarter, you know, that's just my mistake. Um, not staying locked in, being up 20 points. So, you know, uh, you know, we can live with that. But, um, you know, we just can't be passing another team in basketball and letting them come down and transition and shooting threes or getting layups. Was this is a Lakers team. They're, they've forced 20 turnovers plenty of times this season, twice against you guys. I mean, is there concerns about what they do defensively or is this really just about you guys making sure that you keep your habits good i mean they're the champions right now so uh obviously um you know they're bringing something on that end of the floor and um you know but uh you, you always could correct uh, those mistakes out there and you know uh, we still want to get better thanks next we'll go to Om. Um. And Kawhi, you spoke about this the other night about your, uh, the Culture Jam project. I wanted to ask you, you said there was something you've been working on for like six to eight months. What exactly is your role in the project and uh, why is it so important to you? Um, like I said before, uh, you know, it's just it's merging, uh, you know, basketball and the music, um, you know, uh, it's, it's going to help uplift our community. Um, some of the streams are going to go to the Mama uh, Mama Sita uh, Foundation, and you know it, it's just giving back. Um, you know, I listen to some of these artists that's going to be on the album. Uh, it's a lot of uh, a lot of the hottest artists is on there. Just pretty much just putting songs together, um, collaborating with the art with the artists, um, making sure we give it back to the community from there. Did you um, start this or is this like you said you collaborate? Is this something you're financing or is this something you're pretty involved in? And how are you involved in it? Uh, just pretty much, like I said, uh, connecting with the artists, putting, uh, seeing if they want to put songs together to put it on the album. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're all, they all want to be a part of it. And from there, uh, you know, they, they're doing their magic with, uh, you know, what they do with their uh, with the producers that make the beats with their own lyrics and you know from there they're making magic with the song and then hopefully the people like it and it's going to stream and it's going to get back to a foundation and one more question why uh why was it important for you to pick mamba and mama see the foundation i mean i know you have your connection with kobe but i was wondering why you picked there it them. Is. That's, there it is thank you thanks oh next we'll go to shane Hey, Kawhi, almost 70 games in now. We obviously know about the impact Nick Batum has on the floor, but what is he? how fun has he been to be around in the locker room, and what has he meant from a leadership dynamic this year? Uh, I mean, he's a vet. Um, he's, he's been in his league for a while. Uh, he's contributed in, in, in many ways with guarding uh, some of the best players on the floor, rebounding, uh, getting out in transition, spreading the floor for us by making, making threes. Uh, you know, being vocal at times when he sees things. So he, he's just a vet. Um, he's a pro. He comes in, gets his shots up, works every day. And it, he's kind of like a glue guy. Thanks. Time for one more. Go ahead, Farbad. Hey, Kawhi. Um, T. Lou had mentioned that, you know, you're not really playing full quarters right now. I just want to know, you know, how is the leg feeling if you're easing into it more and more? Or how you think you're feeling just from that kind of standpoint of, progressing towards being able to play full quarter? I feel, I feel good. I mean, you know, I'm ready to go. Um, 
you know, I'm just happy to be on the floor and not sitting on the sidelines. Uh, I'm able to play the game I love. Thanks, Kawhi. Enjoy the rest of your night.